Well, you're not afraid of the camera today. You were the sweetest girl. Yes, you are. Nah, you can't pet one head without the other coming around. Yeah, they love their daddy. My good girl. Give me this tail. Let me have this tail. Let me have it. You need it. <laughs> He's eating her some grass. Welcome to the channel. We are back out at the shop. This should be the last video, full video, on the shop build. I know it's not a popular series. Don't know why. It's just not. It gets horrible views. But we got to finish it. So today, as you can see, I got some flooring in here. That is what is left over from the cabin. It is still in stock at Ollie's. So I got to get this laid today. And if it does not finish, <coughs> oh, excuse me, then I can go back tomorrow, which is uh, the only day of the month I can get a veteran's discount. So why not use it on flooring? If I do need any more, <coughs> I am not redoing this. I every, Four takes now. I have coughed in every one. I got something stuck in my throat. We're going to roll with it. So I get a veteran's discount the first Tuesday of every month at Ollie's, and that would be tomorrow. So let's get this laid. Let's get this, uh, see how far we can get. I think we're going to get most of it done. Uh, kick plate there, 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 and then I can remove these legs. They're, they're just screwed in, and they'll pull out. Then I shave a little bit off of one of the, each of them, and it should still remain level. All right. Ain't I'm burning daylight here. Let's go. Okay, this building is very, very out of level. Let me get down here. And I knew this earlier. Let me see if I can get it way out of level. That end has to come up a good inch. And uh, I really need to do that. I've already built the bench. So what we're going to have to do, I'm going to go ahead and lay the floor. I was going to paint these kick plates, but I'm going to leave them alone. Obviously, we're going to have to paint them. You know, I'm going to go ahead. I got to get this floor in. Then we can go out there with the jack and jack this building up after it's done. Hopefully get it better than this because that's terrible. Uh, that is why my bench and everything was off when I was building it. But that is a lot. And, and this way it's good. I'm pretty good this way. But when you go across here, and this is why it's been creaking. See, I've got this flat on the ground. Look at that. And right there is level. That is terrible. But this floor will float. That shouldn't affect the floor at all. I can go ahead and get it laid. I'm just going to put some screws in that. Where I have a guide to start start my flooring, and I don't think I need to do anything here, because I mean we can go under there a little bit and then put the boards in later. But I got to get this stuff laid, so let's get going. Okay, okay. I just love hands and knee work. Who does it? I wish I would have leveled this building, checked it before I even built the bench. So now when I raise it up this bench, you know, where you going? Where you going, boo? Huh? Where you going, boo? Bada bing, bada boom. I don't think this floor is going to look too bad in here. I don't. It should be fine. Yeah. Let me get this first roll. Make sure it's good and square. However, we're going to do that. All right. Let me get a few of those sheets over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's the instructions. Throw them in the trash immediately. Immediately. All right, do I have a razor blade? I do. Does it have a good blade in it? It doesn't. And what you do 
When you don't have a good blade in it, you find another knife that does, so you don't have to change it. And there was one, but I don't know. All right, let's get the first one laid. Oh, hopefully this is much better in the summer than it was to do in the winter. So really all we got to do here. Oh, yeah. I want to take my time and get this looking good in here. That is really good. Now what I can do, if I don't raise this up much, is I can put another board in front of this, so I'm not real worried about the one back there. I just need something where I'm not going, pushing way up in there, you know what I mean? Uh, do I want to use little pieces like that? Yeah, that would be easier over here. All right. Let me get rolling on this, and I'll put you guys on a time lapse, see how far we can get. Once I get past that bench right there, it's all simple. It's just full sheets and a little piece all the way down. I do got that leg loose, so when I go to lay that piece, I'll just simply move it over here, wait till I get that couple of pieces back, and then I'll put the leg back. It will stand without the leg. I built It's anchored into the wall very well. And then I'll do the same thing when I get down here, no big deal. And then we'll just have to shuffle all this stuff back there. Now, that's the table I brought in yesterday. That's going to be my podcast table. I built that, I think, in 2021. It was my old, uh, I built that out of old, the, the fence, fencing that I had around Wally's yard. When I tore his yard down, I repurposed it. It's dusty, but it come out pretty nice. So that'll make a nice rustic looking podcast table. It's got the lip where I can hook my microphone's uh, boom on and everything. All right, so pieces here, a couple pieces here, and then it's, you know, once we get past here, we're good. I'm just taking this out to the table saw. I forgot how much I enjoyed this stuff. No, it's not bad. The hardest part is getting these in right. And so far, so good. I've had to manipulate them a little. All right, let me go in and show you something. Oh, you guys are always peeking in on me. I was taking a nap. I've been out there working hard. And you know, every time I sit in my new chair, I'm out like a light. Because it is comfortable. Well, let me show you what I have here, guys. 
This is the XL4 power lift and it's got heat and massage. I don't think you can hear that. Oh yeah. Now it's a hundred degrees out. We're not turning on the heat. I have tried it. It works fantastic. Okay, let me get out of this thing. Let me let me show you the reclining. This is like how I watch TV about this level. And when I go and I do sleep in this, and I just go back. Mm. Hey, can we finish this later? I'm gonna take a little more nap. So this is fully reclined, perfect. And now if I want to get up, it slowly lifts me up, which is good because in a normal recliner, if your back is hurting and you pull that lever and it jerks you out, you know, back real fast, that hurts. But this here is slow and steady. Right now it's lifting me out of the chair. Rooster. It's Rooster is afraid of this chair, my dog. Because she calls it the magic chair. Okay. And now from here, I just simply step out. Well, you can't beat that, guys. Now, let me show you some more features about this. Let's put her back down. Very nice chair. Now, when I... Let me just get in and talk to you. When I first got the chair, it's not near as wide as the one that I'm used to. The one I've had about eight years. And by the way, that's not a power lift chair. doesn't have anything on it. But it just, you know, I say, well, I'm never going to be able to sleep in this. And that night I said, well, I'm going to give it a try. I'm not kidding you. Within 15 minutes I was out and I slept great. And I've been sleeping in this chair for two weeks now. It's great. I love it. I would never, I, I haven't even sat in that other chair. Rooster has got her bed in it right now. Now the chair has pockets on each side. I just like some instructions. There's a pocket over here. Excuse the place. It's very small, so I don't have a lot of room to record. Now, if we go in the back here, it has an adjustable headrest. You can come all the way forward and lock. And then to get it back to where it goes you just simply push forward and back now halfway in between there's another position and again to return now it has several different modes of massaging it can do your let me put my glasses on it can do your back that's what I just had on uh, it does the lumbar and okay leg thigh and lumbar and it can it, it'll alternate if you want it to alternate or it will just do one section at a time um, honestly I haven't messed with this much since I've had it because the chair is so comfortable uh, I really haven't needed to would I have liked to get a wider chair probably but I'm used to this one they do have wider chairs this is the the XL4 model and you know it serves its purpose I thought maybe I would just sleep in it or use it to sit and watch TV and then go back over and sleep in that one but I don't need to I mean I really I really don't need to I've slept in this for over two weeks now and it's great so if you guys are interested in this chair uh, I'll put a link below there will be a discount code and uh, man it's great and then it comes in this chair comes in two rather large boxes and they're pretty heavy now i would be worried if they were not heavy i would be really worried it has a very let's take you around back and i'll show you what the what the quality is of it let's go around back okay very good steel construction back here and this is where all your cords and all that go uh, it comes with the base okay this part here the bottom comes in one box it's all together and then the sides they they just clip in and then the back 
just pushes in and the sides and the back are in a separate box and then the base on on its own and it's pretty heavy so you may want somebody to help you lift it uh, but not not too bad uh, this can be shipped right to your home uh, FedEx came there was a small girl help help me carry it in to close to the uh, door and from there it was just I had everything running in 15 minutes now I have a power outlet right there but I'm using my solar battery pack and once I get in my recline position I just simply you know I'll shut it off but I've been running this about a week and we're at 65 percent and when I wake up I'll turn this back on and get out of the chair this way the power goes out I am not stuck in there you know I don't have to climb out so it's a good way to have your chair but if you prefer to plug it in to the wall you can do that as well but that is just a good option all right let's get back to the video links are in the description I asked you if you had to potty 15 times and you didn't now you do when I'm busy doing something you you stay out in your chair it's nice out a little fuzzball all right it's dark in here yesterday I finally got in here rewired my light I put a different light in doesn't need to be fancy in this room you can see all the nice work that I did it used to all be like that I had to tear out for nothing guys all that was wrong was a, the switch had broken the plastic on the switch had broken and if I would have just replaced that I wouldn't have had to do all of this so I thought it was the fan that was bad where it was the switch so I tore all that apart it only ended up being the switch so we got a light back in here now I can use this room again as you can see I still got my canned goods <laughs> although they're not being used and some various junk in the meantime all right that color is not not bad I like it and I found a piece that had that end cut off you can't use it for much so it went under up in there and I've got this leg moved back so now we can continue we got a another one after this and then we can boogie we can boogie oh all right let's get this piece laid in there wrong side jack if i get that in first and then i can maneuver the rest of this in it goes a lot easier well, what i'm dealing with is because of that is up over there the floor the whole floor wants to move up in there so every now and then i got to pull it out well, once i get down a ways it shouldn't move anymore there we go nice and jiggle and wiggle and then once you do it a little more you know you get used to it, it goes a little quicker there that piece went in nice oh we're gonna play this game huh there we go you don't really have to use this to beat these in much the dogs don't like it because I'm making noise all right it could go in a little more right there. Okay. Now I got to measure that piece. I'll tell you what. Getting up and down from the floor is a whole lot easier. 60 pounds lighter. I'm telling you. All right, this stuff, let me show you. Let me get a piece. I'm using all these offcuts for them little pieces there. 
All right, I need a piece 16, 15 and 7 eighths. Don't really have one. We are already through one box. So let's see what we got here. That won't work, it's cut. So I'll have to waste a piece. All right. All right, if you've never installed vinyl plank flooring, it's very simple to cut. Uh, i am just got my square where I need it. And I'm going to lightly score it. And then go over it a couple more times, a little deeper. That's it. And you just take it. And bend it right where the score was, like that. And I'm going to take my knife. Go up in there. I like doing sheetrock. Well, I'm in a bind here. Take my knife and just score it down there. That's it. And I use my table saw for longer cuts. Pretty simple. You don't see. Or right down under there. Now I can get on the floor. I don't have to be in front of it. It's a lot easier from back here. All right. Jiggle it and wiggle it. There we go. And it came out a little here. In. Okay, we're good, man. And there will be uh, molding along the bottoms if it ain't covered by workbenches. Who knows? All right, we are ready to make some progress. piece for here and that's just gonna go right there just like that and we'll fit this one in we'll get y'all back oh we're making some progress now Looks good, man. I like this color. I don't think, I don't know. Probably won't show the dirt that the white would show. Doesn't in the house. I ain't mopped the floor yet. Ah, did I say that? Yes, I did. I ain't mopping no floor but once a year. Come on. I'm a guy. Special occasions. I try not to have special occasions. I like it. Well, that something went too easy. Come on. There's no way. Even went into that little strip perfect. Now I got to bring this piece over. This is the problems. You get them in tight. And even when you do, they still look like crap. Just not the best flooring in the world. <coughs> Come on, I gotta jiggle, wiggle. I'm 
Okay, there. Yeah. There we are. That's that's good. That's kind of how you know when it stays up like that. Then you know you got a good fit. And I am not really worried about this, you know, having a seam every other one. Not under this table. Uh, it ain't going to matter. But once we get out here where we don't have any more obstructions, yes, we'll do that. All right, that's a pretty good fit. Give it a bop right here. Bop, bop, bop. And if it's lined up real good in the front, then you know you're in as far as you go. All right, now we got another small piece for this end. Now, let's take a quick look. We're getting there. And we got, I think, one more piece. Then after that, four more boxes. So we're getting about almost four rows per box. So one, it's going to get us pretty close. If I need any, it's going to be one or two boxes, if that. And uh, then I'm going to pick up a rug for the podcast area. All right. All right, from here on out, we can rock and roll. The only thing in the way is all this stuff in that leg. No problem. Uh, I'm going to leave this out like I do, like I have here, and find some sort of, uh, I don't know what you call them, threshold thing. Because that metal plate, that diamond plate stuff doesn't come up. And I want to leave enough to where if I can screw into the floor there, I can. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut it short right there. I do got some stuff in the house, but I don't think it'll work for that. So now we can just lay it on down, man. We'll be done here soon. got two boxes left actually two and a half left which get maybe to where the legs of that table are I'm hoping then I'll need two more boxes be nice to finish it and not have to go to Fort Smith but uh, it's gonna look all right sometimes you just can't get that seam when on the ends like that one there and no matter what you do they're just not a very good quality flooring so I need to go in and get a new battery and we'll come back. Okay, got a hair far, farther than I thought we would. Them legs came to about here on that table, but that's about where I figured we'd get to. So I need about two more boxes. I'm gonna go get those. I may pick up three just to have an extra box. Uh, there's some areas in the house I have to finish if I don't rip all that up, but uh, we got most of her done. I'm not really starting to get in the groove once I got towards the end. That's how it always works. But 
I think it looks nice because it's got a little whitish in it. And then in dark colors, they go with the black. So I think it, uh, it come out real good. Now that all that's really left is to put the baseboards on. We'll put some molding up. One, of the, one subscriber suggested I paint the underside of this cabinet black. So I did that. That looks better. We'll put a nice piece of molding underneath that. I don't even know what I'm going to put up there. But I'm doing a laser engraving shop. So I'm going to have all kinds of things I can make to purdy up the place, you know. So we'll get this finished up. As I said, this will be the last video on this shed build. I know, you guys are going, yes, it was getting old. I don't know. So we're, we're getting to the end here. Now look here, guys, I hung up. I came out here the other day. Subscribers sent me all kinds of hardware like this. And man, I have been using these machine screws. Uh, look at this, I can use this to hook the vise up. And there is two more big boxes of that in there so I can get all that this will be the rack that will have my new stock and, you know, stuff in the packaging. And then this is a mess right now because I've been moving everything over here to do the floor. But we're going to call it good. Appreciate you watching. Happy trails. Well, you got the coolest room in the place because it's humid everywhere else. Oh, it's humid. You don't have no humidity in here. Look at that. I don't know. Are you feeling better now that you got your medicine for your paw? He's got a hot spot on his other paw. He's been getting them. Look at you being all lazy on your bed. Alright, I gotta go edit this movie. Gotta go edit this movie. Yeah, I know.